What's up, party people? Today we are back with a new episode of Blade Break. And this is uh, one of the episodes in the series. We may have to do these out of order, but this is one of the episodes in the series where I am playing my Lexi deck versus Elliot's other decks. Uh, so today I am going to be playing Lexi, as I mentioned. This is a lightning version of the Blitz list, uh, and I'm going to be using my trusty Voltaire as my bow, along with a New Horizon, a Coat of Frost, uh, Bullseye Bracers, and Perch Grapplers. That is my loadout for today. Very nice. Uh, and as Bill mentioned, this is one of my decks. Uh, <laughs> I am playing Bravo. Uh, He's equipped with his two-handed hammer, Anothos. Uh, I've got a Helm of Eisen's Peak, a Tectonic Plating, a Goliath Gauntlet, and some Mage Master booties. <laughs> he's just a fan of his, uh, I actually- He's got sparkly yeah, boots. I was gonna say shout out to Red Zone Rope. Yeah. <laughs> Bravo just really likes to wear his sparkly cowboy boots. Yeah. So gonna hopefully uh, activate those or something. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, big fan of Red Zone Rogue and, and big fan of red cowboy booties. Yeah. Um, all right, so I'm gonna be kicking us off here and I think I'm gonna start pretty crazy. Uh, I'm gonna start off by attacking you with this ball lightning for one. It's just for one, so I'm I'm gonna throw my helm uh, of Eisen's Peak in front of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna activate my Voltaire strike twice. Uh, I'm gonna do that by pitching this Weave Lightning and I'm going to put this Bolton Shot into my Arsenal face up. I'm going to give it plus one with Voltaire's ability. Uh, and I will fire this at you because it is free. Uh, I will attack you for five. It is not a lightning or elemental attack action, so it doesn't get any buffs from the ball lightning, but it is for five with go again, and if it hits, I get to reload. Right. Uh, well, I would not like that to happen. So <laughs> what I'm going to try to do is uh, defend that for six. You have successfully defended it for six. However, Voltaire always strikes twice. <gasps> And I'm going to put this Dazzling Crescendo into my arsenal, giving it plus one attack. And I'm going to attack you again for five. Five again? It does not have go again, but if it does hit you, it will deal that much damage, plus one. Well, at least it's the first turn, I guess. I, I, uh, I'm i gonna throw five in front of that. You you did it. The, great. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, I will put a Battle Worn counter on both of my things that may have them. Nice. <laughs> and then I'm gonna draw some cards and so will you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start things off here uh, by activating my tectonic plating to make a seismic surge token. Uh, that costs one resource, so I will pitch this blue debilitate uh, to do that, and have two resources left. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm then gonna use those two and a couple more. Uh, I'm gonna try to spinal crush you uh, by pitching this blue staunch response, totaling five resources. Uh, so that is coming in for nine. And if it deals four or more to you, action cards, activated abilities, and attacks that you control lose and can't gain go again. And it is four or more. Mm -hmm. So that's actually relevant and moderately okay. Um, I'm going to throw six in front of it. Two yellow frazzles. I am saddened, but not, not that much, you know, it's, <laughs> it still does three, so yeah, yeah please take three. Uh, I will arsenal this last card in my hand, and uh, that's your turn. Okay. Remember this card? I'm going to cast three of a kind. I'm going to pay for it by pitching this lightning search. Damn. And I'm going to draw three. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I didn't do anything. <laughs> this card's busted. I'm going to activate my Voltaire by pitching this blue Heaven's Claws. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I will use the ability to put this buzz bolt into my arsenal face up, uh, and I will give it go again, because the spinal crush didn't crush me. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna use an additional one of my resources to fire this buzz bolt at you for five. I'm not fusing it, uh, it's just for five. Just for five, he says. Only for five. Don't Only worry. five. Don't worry about it. It's just for five. Eh. <laughs> Uh, I will take five. <laughs> Taking five? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna activate my Bullseye Bracers. I have no cards in my arsenal, uh, so I can put an arrow from my hand face up into my arsenal and it will get plus one attack until end of turn. I am choosing Headshot. I'm going to use my last resource floating to attack you with this Headshot. It has plus one from this and plus two from its own ability, so it is for seven. Uh, well, seven is a lot. Um, I think I am, I am probably playing this incorrectly, but I do like being exceedingly greedy. Yes. 
Uh, so I will just throw my tectonic plating for one uh, in front of the headshot, and I would like to take six. You will take six then. Alrighty, I will go to nine, and I will put a second battle worn counter on that. All right. Alrighty, so at the beginning of my action phase, this seismic surge uh, is going to destroy itself, and my next guardian attack action card I play this turn is going to cost one resource less to play. Then, from my arsenal, I would like to play this Tear Asunder uh, by pitching this Stamp Authority. Yup. Uh, so the next guardian attack this turn is going to gain plus one, dominate, and if it hits a hero, they discard two cards. That's a lot. It is a lot. And also conveniently, because of my Seismic Surge, this Righteous Cleansing costs six. Uh, so that's coming at you for 11 with Dominate. If it hits you, you're going to discard two cards. And if it deals four or more damage, I'm going to look at the top five cards of your deck, banish one or more cards with the same name from among them, and then put the rest on top of your deck in any order. I will declare a block with my Perch Grapplers and no other blocks. Okay, uh, I would like you to take nine damage. Uh, nine is more than four. Mm. Uh, how does this, what order does this happen in? Uh, I don't think it matters because it's affecting two different zones. Okay, um, please discard two cards. Let's, let's go I'm with pitching, that. Or I'm discarding a red Weavice and a red Snapshot. Okay, and then I would like to look at the top five cards of your deck. And then I get to banish one or more with the same name, but this seems like a pretty obvious choice because I hit this Pulse of Volthaven. Oh no, it's so pretty. <laughs> it is very pretty. <laughs> and then I put these back on in an order of my choosing, even. Like this. I imagine you're probably drawing all of them anyway, but <laughs> who knows? Maybe it matters. Um, and yeah, that that was a heck of a turn. Yeah, you attacked me for a lot. I did. I think that's what this deck does. Mm, maybe. Mm. <laughs> all right. Swoop. I'm going to kick things off with what I should have done last turn and break my Code of Frost to give you a Frostbite. Yeah, that would have stopped that entire thing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and I'm kicking myself now, but you know what they say, hindsight is... Anyway, uh, I'm going to play this three of a kind. <laughs> ah. Uh, and I'm going to pitch this blue Electrify. So I will draw three cards, and I can only play cards from my arsenal. Oh. Oh. <laughs> These are good cards, did you know that? <laughs> I did. <laughs> did know that they were good cards. I'm going to activate Voltaire the first time to put this snapshot into my arsenal face up, I'm going to give it go again. And I'm going to attack you for four with go again. It is a red snapshot. All right, uh, not fusing. Not fusing. Okay. I'll just block that for three. So I will take one. Yeah, I have no attack reactions, so that works. Uh, I'm going to use my last resource floating to activate Voltaire a second time, striking twice. Uh, <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> and I'm going to put this headshot into my arsenal face up. Uh, I'm going to give it plus one attack. And uh, I don't have any resources floating, but I will pitch this Buzzbolt to attack you with this headshot for seven. It is a red headshot. Red uh, shot. Uh, <laughs> Beat you to it. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's a little, a little awkward, as mm -hmm. the kids say. I am going to take seven here as well. I'm going to go all the way down to one, which is, again, probably super incorrect, uh, but here I am. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, so uh, my turn's pretty simple here. In order to get around this frostbite uh, and play this blessing of deliverance, I must pitch this blue card. It is a cranial crush. Uh, this costs two, so that'll be three, paying for the frostbite. Okay. Uh, when this enters, it also has go again. Uh, I have a card with uh, cost three or greater in my pitch zone, so I will draw a card. Extremely good. And I will uh, then pitch this blue debilitate to make a seismic surge token. Mm -hmm. I have two resources floating. Uh, I am just going to... Uh, destroy, or sorry, that is with my tectonic plating yes. ability. Yes. Uh, and then I'm just going to destroy my Helm of Eisen's Peak to gain plus one intellect until end of turn and arsenal this last card. Sounds good to me. 
I'm gonna kick off this turn by casting this blue Weave Lightning. Uh, next, Lightning or Elemental Attack Action card I play this turn gets plus one. If it's fused, it gains go again. Okay. And this also has go again. <gasps> Great. So I will go additionally a second time. Um, <laughs> Striking uh, twice. As it were. <laughs> I'm going to attack you with this Heaven's Claws by pitching this Red Weave Ice. Uh, so I, I'm using actually that resource. Uh, so I'm attacking you for four. Yeah, four is a pretty good number to attack me for. Five. Oh, sorry. S seven. <laughs> Nineteen. <laughs> well, I need to defend that with more than three. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will uh, discard this mangle and this crush confidence to block six of it. Okay. I, I, I have an attack reaction. Uh-oh. I would like to pump it by three to make it seven. Oh, I should have known that you had drawn that <laughs> and forgot. <laughs> so I will promptly die. Good game. Good sir. game. I had uh, the ability oh to, God. in theory, play this Crippling Crush with Dominate on my turn uh, because blue cards are really strong. Yeah, when you run, I assume, uh, 86 of them in your 40 card deck. <laughs> yeah, so I've got a 40 card deck here. It runs uh, 92 blue cards <laughs> and eight uh, Crippling Crushes. So it's pretty good. Uh, it's the optimal ratio, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm actually really good at the game, too, because I also arsenaled the second deck. I like how you were like, oh, I had all these blues. I was going to activate Bravo to give my Crippling Crush dominate, but you just also had the Terra Sunder. Right, but I couldn't. Uh, oh, no, yeah, that's 10. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I could have just Terra Sunder as well. But uh, yeah, I got way too greedy uh, on that last turn. Uh, I thought, you know, I'll gain some life back with this Blessing of Deliverance. But that was a stupid idea. I was like, oh, I'll gain some life back. I'll have five cards in my hand. Like, I can just take a turn off. Um, but I died mm -hmm. instead. I, I even think if I blocked that for nine, like, uh, oh no, I guess you, the card left in your hand was the lightning press, right? Yeah. Yeah. But then I take a turn off. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I would have likely not used the lightning press in that case and then just arsenal it. And then I could give my next attack go again with Lexi. Right. Um, but, and I think if you blocked it for nine, you would have had to use three cards, meaning you'd have two cards plus your arsenal Terra Sunder, mm -hmm. which means I don't think you can attack me no, next turn. I very much cannot. This yeah. breaks and the two cards left in my hand are presumably the crippling crush and another blue. Yeah. So... So you could like maybe swing in with the no though. Yeah, like that that's about or, it at that yeah. point is like attacking with this, which um, again is technically supposed to be the plan as far as I've heard. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, the cards I drew this game were yeah. just, <laughs> you just crazy. You just kept drawing oh. uh, big cards with enough resource to catch just them. So big majestics and also blue cards. Yeah, I don't like, blame you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you for doing that. But I just look at this man, right? Like how do, how do you not want to just punch somebody with oh uh. he's got he's got a barrel chest and uh, debts to collect on, I think. <laughs> right, that, he's after something, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and ding the Gripple and Crush the notification oh, be bell. Be sure to absolutely crush the <laughs> confidence of that subscribe <laughs> button. And we will see you guys in the next one. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. Before you close the window, make sure you click subscribe for more great flesh and blood content.